Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IATF qualified auditor. I am doing audit in the automotive sector for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between CTQ and CTP? Critical to quality and critical to process. Well, in general, if you look at the industry, very rarely people talk about CTP. In majority of the cases, people talk about CTQ, but CTP is equally important just like CTQ. If we talk about IAT of 16949, generally they call it in a terminology special characteristics. Now to talk specifically with respect to CTQ and CTP, CTQ, critical to quality are those product characteristics which are important for that product. There may be so many characteristics in a product, but if one or two those key and the most important characteristics are not being taken care of, then it can result in a failure of accepting or maybe the delight of the customer. When we talk about CTP, critical to process, the intent is to achieve that quality for that CTQs. What are the process parameters or which are the process parameters which can impact for that particular quality of the product. So when we identify and when we have some control over those process parameters, that is called CTP. In general, if you talk about generally the purpose of CTP and CTQ is first of all to identify what is important from the customer's perspective, then to apply control for that, that is for CTQ. Then the next step is to identify what are the process parameters which are important so that CTQ can be met and then apply controls for that. There are, generally, there are three key steps wherein we identify CTQ, CTP and we have some actions on that. So the first of all, the first step is to identify the need that why we need CTP and CTQ. Once we identify why we need that, then the second step is that what are the deliverables, how to identify that what are the key parameters when we are taking care of that so that we can achieve that need. So therein we identify the CTQs and CTPs and the third step is what to do, what are the steps that needs to be done so that we can achieve those CTQs and CTPs. If we talk about the key difference between CTQ and CTP, first of all it's important to understand with some examples. So let's take an example of this particular pen. Now as a user, what is most critical with respect to quality is that the way the flow of the ink, whether it is good or not. And secondly, it could be the feeling when I'm holding the pen, how it is that. So this can be the two key critical to quality characteristics. Now to achieve these two key characteristics, what is important with respect to critical to processes to identify with respect to ink that to have that particular kind of flow, what can be the mixture, what can be the viscosity, at what temperature it should be inserted so that that particular flow can come. When we talk about the feel that is about the critical to quality characteristics. Now to achieve that, what kind of grinding needs to be done? What kind of grinding wheel that needs to be used for how long into the grinding? What should be the roughness or surface uh, that we need to go? So all those process characteristics when we take care that makes that critical to process characteristics. Let's take one more example with respect to a spot welding process. When we talk about a spot welding process, when we are doing a spot welding. So in that spot welding, once we do our spot welding, if we talk about critical to quality characteristics, we do a nugget test that we remove both the part of the sheet and we see that uh, if the sheet is coming out with that, then it is called a good quality. But if the sheet is not coming out, we say no, the, the strength is bad, right? Now, if this is a critical to quality characteristic, to achieve this, what needs to be done in spot welding process? So maybe in the process parameter, we need to take care of the current, maybe voltage, Maybe the way in which the profile of electrode is there and what is the frequency of dressing it. So those can be critical to process characteristics to achieve that. In general, when we talk specifically with respect to the key difference between CTQ and CTP. So generally CTQs are defined by the four key process owners that includes the end user, the OEM, the organization and the legal bodies. But when we talk about CTP, here the intent is that whatever are the CTQs that are being identified, what needs to be done to achieve that. When we talk about with respect to the product, there are six key characteristics with respect to CTQs from where it can be identified. It can be the fitment, function, dimension, it can be the testing, it can be the performance. 
But when we talk about CTP, our intent is that out of all these six key characteristics, what can be done by the organization to ensure that these six characteristics are being taken care as and when required by the customer. In general, CTQ is also called voice of the customer because generally these are being identified by the customer. But when we talk about CTP, critical to process, that is generally called voice of the process because it is the process which says that to achieve those characteristics, what should be done in the process so that those characteristics can be taken care of. Sometimes critical to quality characteristics are also called critical to customer because these are very, very important for the customer. And in general, they are identified through customer drawings or maybe the specifications. When we talk about critical to process, generally these are an output or in relation to critical to quality that we identify some parameters in our technical specification sheet, a process sheet or the control plan to identify that. In general, critical to quality parameters are identified through DFME, design failure mode and effect analysis. And CTP characteristics are generally identified through PFME, process failure mode and effect analysis. If you look into uh, the different drawing specifications, there are different ways in which we identify critical to quality as well as critical to process. It can be uh, critical to characteristics, CC, sometimes they call it significant characteristics, sometimes it is called major, sometimes it is called significant characteristics. And if we talk about some of the industries related, so Maruti Suzuki for safety characteristics, generally they call it as Maru A. If we talk about Ford for critical characteristics, generally it's an inverted uh, triangle which they use as a symbol with respect to critical to quality or it can be with respect to critical to process also. Some of the key challenges that industry is facing with respect to CTQ and CTP. The first one is the most and the key person who is actually using all the CTQ and CTP is the person on the shop floor, the operator. But in majority of the cases, the operator is not aware or they have not clarity about what exactly is the significance of the purpose of CTQ and CTP. Secondly, if you look into the control plan, you will find that there may be some CTQs and CTPs, but irrespective of that, the sample size will remain same, the controls will remain same, and there is no significant difference in that. Because when we are talking about CTQ or CTP, maybe the sampling plan should be more, maybe SPC should be implemented, POCA ECO should be there, inspection frequency should be more but generally those controls are not there. And thirdly, and the most important thing, in majority of the cases, the organization or maybe the people who are working there, for them CTQ and CTP are not having much of the importance. So if I do overall summary, when we talk about CTQ, we are talking about the product characteristics. Apart from so many characteristics, those one or two which are most important for the product and they are not being taken care, it can result into a customer complaint or customer dissatisfaction. When we talk about CTP, we are talking about those key process characteristics apart from so many process characteristics which are important to meet those CTQ requirements. To achieve that, what are the controls that needs to be applied in the process? Those are all called CTPs. My next video will be related to the key difference between CP and CPK. In general, I am getting a lot of feedbacks from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectations. So, please continue that. And in case you want to understand this particular video in much more detail, there is a link below. If you click that, you will find a blog there and in that you will find in much more detail about this particular video. And in case you think that you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website bhavyamangla.com. Thank you.